today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to change out a set of awning arms. Looks like a difficult job. It really is not. Super easy. Stick around. Today we are going to change out these bent awning arms. Super easy. Unbelievably easy. Would be really easy with help from somebody else. I'm by myself. I do a lot of stuff by myself. So I'm going to do it by myself. So if you see me struggling a little, it's because I'm by myself. So anyways, um, let's take a look at all the screws that we need to replace on these. There's eight screws that hold that up. Eight screws that hold that up. All you basically need is a screw gun with a square tip or a handheld. You could do it with this, but you would be really tired. Your wrist would be sore, but you could do it. So we got that. We're going to jump up there, take that down. First, I'm going to remove this arm. This here is the idler arm. This arm up here has no motor. So very easy to repair. Super easy. You're going to be blown away. Let's take this off. This thing just pops out. There we go. Okay, so on this arm, we have five screws holding this to the coach. You have one, two, three up there. You have one, two down here. They're very small screws, square head on the screw gun. Up there on the top of that, let's take a look at that first. So up here you have one, two, and then a third screw up there somewhere. So three screws holding this on and this just slips right off of here very simply. Very easy. One screw at the top, two more below it, and two more down there. I leave this top screw in, take all the rest, take this one out last, makes it easy to take this down. Here's the two screws at the bottom. One there, and one there. Seven screws total. All right, let's get that thing swapped out, get the new one put back on.
So there it is, pretty simple. Got that swapped out. Through that new arm on there, some of them holes are getting a little walled out. These walls are made out of fiberglass and foam. You can put some caulking or some tape or whatever. I'm not really, I don't think water is going in those little tiny holes. So I'm gonna add a couple screws. As you saw when I was up there, I pulled that out. And when you do, you can just set that real easy right on a ladder. If you got a helper, they can hold it. Um, but these things are under tension. They're under tension. So that's why I have the red tape on them. So that's as far as they go, or these things are gonna wanna open up all the way. So uh, that's that, that one's done. Let's jump over and knock out the one with the motor and we got the wiring to deal with. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Let's jump on it. Okay, so this arm here, this is the arm with the motor on it. You got a motor in there, so that won't turn. That makes it a little more difficult, but still really easy. But there's a motor in there. Um, there's some wires that come from the awning and come down this thing. I'll show you those. The power wires are here at the bottom and I'll show you the screws. Let's take a look. Super easy. There they are. I already cut them. I'll show you. I, I got pictures of what went to what, so I'll show you that. Anyways, we just disconnect all these, cut those loose. This one runs inside of here, so we'll pull that out. These just go straight inside this panel. Here's the screw at the bottom, screw number one, screw number two, okay. There's five screws holding this to the coach, same as the other side. Three, four, five. And there's your wire. Let's pull that out. There you go. Disconnected. It's a little channel back there where that runs in. Here you got one here, you got one at the bottom, and you got one on this other side. I'm Anyways, there you go. One, two, three, four, five holds that to the coach. Three holds that.
there it is. Now let's uh, let's handle the wiring, and then we're pretty much done. Looking good. Simple. All right, let's do this wiring here. I got these little crimp things. That's what came on there. Um, so blacks all went to the whites. You can see what I'm doing. I don't know. To get all these crimp blacks go to whites. I'll put a close-up picture of it. Oh my gosh, I did a real number on that. Wow. Wow, I really squeezed that. Interesting. This black goes with this white. Those are negatives. not squeeze so hard that time. Here we go. Blacks are with whites. Red goes to... Uh, ooh. That's a good one. I'm pretty sure I'm going with it. I'll have to double check before I turn it on. That red goes with green and this red goes with the blue. There we go. I'm gonna double check that before I crimp them, but I'm pretty sure. There you go, there's the lighting. Let's go inside and uh, try out the motor, take our tape off. All right, so before we go inside and run this awning all the way out, all the way back in, make sure it all runs good, I went ahead and double checked that wiring. I would recommend double checking your wiring. Um, take a picture of it, because these colors, they're pretty screwy. So anyways, let's go inside, run that awning, make sure everything works good, and then we're almost done. Oh, before we do that, let's throw these plates on. It's just this little plate to cover the wires. They snap in right here. Put that wiring up there. It's the last step as long as it runs. Let's run it. All right, sweet, works good, that's it. Simple, told you, amazing. And it, honestly, the whole thing in, in real time took me 20 minutes, and that included making the video for you guys. So, pretty easy. Let's go over a couple of the tools that we needed to do this. So, I use my screw gun. I love this thing. This thing is my favorite Milwaukee tool. There's the tip you need right there. Okay. Tape. Tape is used to tape the arms at a position you can work with because the arms are under tension and if you don't tape them, they'll just spring open and it's a huge deal. Tape. Electrical clippers. 
doing your wires and all that, strippers and everything, you might need that. You could probably do it with a pocket knife. You don't need a bag of tools to do this. Like I said before, you could pretty much do this whole thing with this, with the square tip put on here. Um, and even if you had an incident on the road that th this was hanging off, you could unscrew that whole entire thing, take that whole awning down, put it inside your coach, get home and deal with it rather than trying to cut it off the side of the trailer. So anyways, that is that. That was super easy. Um, I replaced four of these little tiny little screws. That's all they have holding that onto the thing. I replaced it with four of these. One at the top, one on the bottom on each arms. Much stronger. So I don't think it's going anywhere. Good deal. If you got any questions, comment below. And thanks for watching.